Well, I guess this banner's coming, ain't it? Um, <laughs> just as soon as I, I made my predictions video, that was funny. Hello everybody, welcome to another Meta Combos video. Today is supposed to be a Breath of the Wednesdays video, but I'm actually going to go ahead and stop doing that series, sadly enough. I know some of you guys liked it and all, but I just... I, I couldn't. I can't anymore. I'm sorry. I will continue the series later on. Later down the YouTube career. I guess if I can say that. You know? <laughs> um, but... <coughs> um, funnily enough, before I get into everything here, um, my girlfriend speculated an all-villains banner, and look at what happened. It's right there in your guys' screen. That damn banner. You see it? <laughs> I think it's, you know, it, it's, it's crazy. Um, so let's get into this, shall we? I'm going to kind of make this video more speculation than really focusing on the meta combo here because everybody knows this fucking meta combo right here. Fucking voice line Jorno and Diabolo. It's like a staple in Square Attack now. It's not even funny. Why am I laughing? Um. So, what's it called? Um, first off, I do want to say that the banner that is coming out for 1.5 anniversary is immaculate. I'm not going to deny it. But the thing that makes me feel weird is that why do we do we see this amazing banner? Granted, yes, you can argue. But, Hero, it's the 1.5 anniversary, you know? And yes, you're wrong. You're right. Not, not, not that you're wrong. You're right, but at the same time, it makes me feel uneasy because, like, it feels like they might introduce a unit during Golden Week that has a brand new mechanic that we've never seen before. You know? Like, it, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't sit right. And I can arguably go ahead and, like, make a bunch of speculations and stuff, and, like, I can literally give you a shit ton of ideas that I'm thinking of, like, for units and stuff, but... I'm not going to today. I can go ahead and save that for like another video if I wanted to. I probably will. Like speculation Sundays, speculation Saturdays. I don't know. I don't know. You guys converse about it in the comments and let me know. Um, but yeah. Um, that's what I think they're going to be doing. Now you can argue, but you don't even know anything, hero. Well, I know I don't. I don't, my, my dad doesn't work at Bandai Namco or anything, my, my cousin doesn't got the details from it, you know? No, like, I don't have any sort of, like, secret information that I'm obtaining, right? This is all just off the top of my head. Now, I'm thinking about it because, like, I've played 10 gacha games in my lifetime, okay? 10, and I think... I, I don't play some of them anymore, but I stopped playing some of them because I don't want to anymore. And what I've recognized is that in those gacha games, it kind of becomes the same thing over and over and over again. But there, there are little things that are, get added in that change up a lot of things. Now, this gacha game in particular, Pitter, I've played it since day zero. And when I say day zero is because... I played this game when the game wasn't even released yet. Like, when you launch the app, it would take you to... It would take you to a screen where there was, like, those things that you'd see at restaurants, that, like the little billboards that say, oh, today's special is blah, 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 you know? Yeah, I had one of those. I had the Pitter logo at the top. And then it had, like, Lisa Lisa or Giorno or somebody come off from the right side, right? And then you could actually go ahead and hit one of the tabs and the little circles and it would show you the news and everything. And I'm, I couldn't read Japanese or kanji or anything. So I was like, oh, is this it? Like, is the game not out or what's going on? And there was another button that had a camera on it. When you'd click it, you'd go ahead and you'd have filters with characters from Pitter with like nice little decorative backgrounds and stuff that you could use for photos. There were filters. Now... I've played this game since day zero, like I've said, and I wasn't very consistent with it all the time, but I did love playing this game whenever I had the time on my phone. And so 
I've went through this entire life, this this gacha game's entire life cycle and everything. So, well, not life cycle, but their lifespan. And you know, it's kind of been the same thing over and over and over again, yeah. But it kind of makes it nice for the people who know what they're doing, so that way they don't. There, it's not like this whole ass big change that happens that ends up, you know, having to have you like relearn everything, you know. And so. I'm thinking about it and I'm like, well, you bring out this really nice banner, right? But there's still Golden Week coming up. So just knowing that we're getting this really amazing banner, it kind of sets me off knowing like, what do they have in store for Golden Week? Because I'm not saying this is a bank banner, like this is an immaculate banner. If you don't have any of the four units, go for it. I'd say summon. I still need to make it before you summon on that that banner, you know, um, but that will probably be happening tomorrow. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and talk about how it's weird to me. Now, we don't know what's coming for Golden Week, but it just like granted, I could be wrong and it could be like something trashy, right? But it's just like a fan favorite character that everybody loves. Like, for example, let's use Dopio, right? Let's say this banner comes, right? And then the banner goes away. Or during, because this, this banner is actually going to stay until, like, uh, until Golden Week happens. Because it's staying until, like, the 14th, if I'm not mistaken, of next month. So, I'm just thinking, like, what if they, for example, let's say the, the, the banner, 1.5 banner goes through, right? And then for Golden Week, they introduce Dopio, voice line Dopio, right? Example, by the way. Um, and it just turns out that I'm wrong and he doesn't have a new mechanic whatsoever. And, he's, and he sucks, right? Which would be sad. But let's say he sucks, right? Then you, people would be like, oh, you were wrong and this and that. I'd be like, all right, yeah, that's true. It was just speculation on my part, okay? But I just feel like something really big might be introduced. Maybe we might get a new unit that we never had before and he might come he or she might come with a new mechanic that's why i'm kind of off by the whole banner with like all the amazing ass like top tier units that we're getting on that banner like everybody on that banner except for sheer heart attack kira is like a is like high a tier and up or, or a tier and up you know but yeah, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to go ahead and cover up the, uh, we'll cover the, uh, sort of the banner and like what my predictions are or what my speculation is behind the banner and everything. And for Golden Week, I still don't know who it could be for Golden Week. Maybe it could be, like I said, voice line Risotto and voice line Dopio. Maybe, I don't know. It's all just, it's all just like ideas that I've had. <coughs> but, um, yeah, that's gonna be it because i don't want this video to go on for too long and everything and just me rambling on and on and on you know but yeah that's gonna be it for this video um i'm gonna go ahead and say the outro now all right <laughs> other than that hope you guys are having a wonderful wonderful day i hope you accomplished everything that you wanted today and don't forget to move that, the subscribe button and make sure to order the like button and don't forget to emerald splash the bell icon so you do know when i upload other than that i'll see you guys in the next one see you my crusaders